guys welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel so today is monday i just received my alicia sutra 2024 trio today morning so i thought of shooting a proper flip through video and share my honest feedback with you all so without any further delay let's start the video so this is the Alicia Suza 2024 trio box. Before doing the proper flip through and all, I want to share what happened with my order actually. There's been a huge delay. Let me tell you the entire story. I have even posted about it on my Instagram as well. The thing is, they launched the planners on September 20, if I'm not wrong. September 20 or 21. I think it is September 20. So they launched it on September 20 with so much launch offer, all those things. And the launch offer was live for like three days. But... I don't know, I think it was um, live for around a month, but the shipping timeline which they promised during the launch is, they told that all the orders will be uh, shipped, I mean they will be starting a shipping from October 25, if I'm not wrong, that's what they have mentioned in their website. So my trio bundle, right, it was supposed to be shipped on October 25. But what is the date today? It's now by 20. So today only I received my order. So there's been a huge delay. When I contacted the help us team, support team, right? The first reply was, there is some issue. They didn't say what is the issue. They were like, there is some issue. We are shipping, we are sending. There is some delay. For the first two weeks, um, I think I texted them on October 29 or something because I, I've been seeing so many people unboxing their planner, unboxing their trio bundle, everything, but I haven't received mine and I haven't even received any order update yet. But when I was asking them, they told uh, there is a manufacturing issue because I ordered one shoe as well with the uh, launch. I, I got some coupons, so I ordered a shoe as well. They're like, there is some issue with the accessories and also I thought, okay, I ordered my trio bundle with the accessories. That is why it was getting delayed. But then every time i keep asking them i was getting different reasons every time to be honest one time they told it is the accessories and one time they told there is some manufacturing delay i didn't get a proper reason as in why it was delayed why it was not shipped in the promised timeline so after a few weeks only i got to know that there is some issue with the hardbound planner so basically i ordered hardbound planner and they have shipped only the spiro, I mean, viro bound spiral planners, right? They have shipped only those. So then I went to YouTube, Instagram, and then I checked all the unboxing videos. It was all viro, I mean, the spiral one. It's not the hardbound one. Then I got to know the delay that happened. So there is some issue with the hardbound planner and hence it is delayed. Okay, fine. Understood. But my question is, why it wasn't communicated through email? For a matter of fact, I know a handful of friends who have, ordered hardbound planner and none of us received any update from alicia Souza team the thing is i not only alicia Souza for that matter any planner branch right when they launch they know the amount of order they would get in the next few weeks shouldn't they be prepared for all these uh, quality check or whatever they call it i mean you're you promised a timeline and also with alicia Souza, the pre-order experience has never been good for me at least I think in 2021, they had pre-order 21 or 22, I don't remember. They had the same issue. It was it was not shipped in the promised timeline. So every time it's happening, I'm so glad. Ink bucket, I've never messed up the pre-order. Again, I'm talking for myself. I, I think last year, a few people faced issue with ink bucket, but um, at least the communication was there. From Alicia, Suza, I honestly expected a proper communication. Like, guys, this happened. You will. I know I'll eventually receive the order, but my problem is they didn't update it properly. She did put a story, but eventually it got disappeared in 24 hours, right? Uh, at least they should have posted something on their Instagram and pinned it. I can see many comments on their reels and posts as well. I haven't received, I haven't received. The team is actively replying to everyone's comments as well. I do respect that. But the only concern is all the delay, all the quality check, some issue had happened. But shouldn't you be updating everyone who ordered the hardbound planners and tell them, hey guys, this is what happened. Please wait for a couple of weeks. I mean, we would wait at least. Uh, people who know Alicia Souza and people who love their products, I know they would definitely wait. So that is where I think it went wrong. I was very disappointed, of course, because 
the shipping was also constantly delayed every day it will say out of delivery but in the night i'll get the message of some security check failed some random reasons like very random and then today finally it was out of delivery and within two hours i finally received it and i have also ordered the desk accessories as well but today i'm not going to show you the desk accessories only the trio bundle because let's have a separate video for desk accessories let's quickly open this and i'll show you what and all i got with this beautiful box so this is the alicia Sosa box for this year and you can see this glittery halo thing i genuinely like this year's box design because it is usually floral or something uh, with trees and flowers so this thing there is also this cute little girl with the heart i love this year's box i always use her boxes as a storage thing so i mean this is one of the highest quality i would say because uh, i've been buying alicia sosa since 2020 right so i still have all the boxes i use all of them as organizers to store my stationery and all so yes actually these are all the freebies i'll show the freebies later and it came in a pouch but i kept the pouch somewhere but yeah it's a default alicia sosa pouch anyway this is the planner when we are going to do the flip of the planner right i'll also be comparing with last year's planner like what was new and what is removed what is added all those things so this is the pocket planner i love this year's pocket planner design as well pocket planner 2024 something new this little uh, i mean everything is same in the pocket planner actually they haven't changed much they still have the quarterly goal setting uh here for every three months you can do the goal setting they have the space here if you can see yeah march see notes goals to do so how i use this pocket planner is i track my budget here every day what i'm spending if i'm not spending i'll just put across so i basically use this pocket planner as a budget planning or expense tracker you can use it as your work planner or your reading planner basically however you want and i love the pattern of this cover it's so glittery i mean it's so shiny it's, it is very very bright now we have this and this year sticker books is, sticker book is amazing i'll quickly do a flip through see i think i spoke about her stickers in my last video as well alicia Souza is one brand who constantly bring new designs in their stickers when you take ink bucket right they are repeating their stickers like 80 percent but in alicia Souza, it's new brand new this year the sticker book is even uh prettier creative i love this page so yes the sticker book is so good and i don't use most of the stickers because they are so pretty and i just keep it safely i know many people are like me so yeah let's take some credit we'll see this calendar and this calendar after some time yeah so this is the hardbound planner you can see hello lovely 2024 this year they have the golden edges and uh, the quality of this golden foil is also improved it is very thicker than the last year one i'll quickly show the last year one last year it was pastel i mean i can i don't know whether it is visible in the video or not but it is so tight it is very good the quality of the this holder is so far far better than 2023 the only size uh, size differences i think it is increased a bit see that's it so everything is same and the thickness wise also i think 2024 and 2023 are almost same does it look same to you i guess yes it is pretty much same so let's do a quick flip through of the plan as usual your sweet face and here they have added so many things this year is going to be and mantra of the year usually uh, this page is like the basic introduction emergency contact your phone number your address but this year they added the year is going to be so basically this is where you set your intention this year is going to be amazing or productive happy so you, you just have to write it here i don't know i think last year also they had something similar wait let me check so yeah last year it was just this so last year i got to sign the planner actually i was 
one among the first hundred people who placed orders so i got the signed planner and this is the face of the proud planner over but this year i i was overthinking what should i order this that i was thinking and i was not in the first hundred anyway so the, here they have the personal information and alicia's is a holidays right i feel like they're all british and american holidays it's not the indian holidays at all they should add more indian holidays like diwali pongal all these things right these are all missing so yes they should seriously consider that and here we have the usual 24 25 calendar space to grow you can use this space to set your 2024 goals or you can just write down how was 2023 what did you learn uh, how it went what were your goals you can just reflect on your 2023 here my favorite spread letter to yourself so here it's like rough draft fair draft you're just going to write the rough draft of the letter here and the fair draft of the letter here and just cut it cut it um I mean, they would have mentioned everything you have to cut it fold it and keep it in your planner or wherever you want to be open you can mention the date and write your name here again they have a blank page here you can use it as your vision board or you can just write your goals or any yearly routine thing you want right here because i know few people use uh, this page to set their morning routine evening routine night routine and all so you can use it however you want i think alicia's the planner gives you the flexibility to uh, to do a lot of creative things so this year they have the proper goal setting last year they didn't have the goal setting at all so this year they have goal 1 goal 2 goal 3 steps to achieve your goal your why and date everything so here you have to mention when you are going to achieve the goal this is like main goal and here you are going to categorize your goals into multiple mini goals and you are going to set your end date or deadline for the goals so yeah put it in writing here what you are going to do is for every goal you are going to write in detail how you are going to achieve it what you are going to do for your goal and all the what hows and whys that's it they have the monthly spread so the paper quality of the monthly spread is different when you take the last year planner right wait i'll try to show you last year see it is somewhat thicker than this year i feel and it's somewhat thicker and here they always had some kind of pattern going on but for 2024 they don't have any pattern on the back side it's just plain and here you can use it to highlight your favorite memories growth things to remember all those things january notes and stuff here you are going to set your goals basically in the daily spread they have enough space so here they have an empty page and monthly tracker they have brought lot of changes i'll show you how it was in 2023 so you will know period tracker to do and this is the new spread both of these pages are newly added which is indeed a great addition and they have made some changes in meal plan as well i think um then I, i don't know the notes corner was supposed to be here now it is here so yeah they made some changes and it looks cute the wellness tracker is just as same as the 2023 one and yeah again two empty pages again one empty page february yeah so now i'll show you how i have been using the 2023 planner and what was here i'll take december because that's the only empty month i have <laughs> everything is same basically one goal setting page for the month the only difference is the habit tracker and they have added to do straight so previously the habit tracker was like this two whole page and now it is just one page and in the other page they have added the to do's and all so this is the monthly meal plan you can see the difference right for this year they have added morning evening sorry morning afternoon and night wellness tracker is just the same and yeah they have these empty pages so i'll quickly show you how i used this monthly spread so after every month there will be some empty pages right so i used this page to uh, paste the highlights from that month i think this is february month so february month highlights i just take pictures i'll take a print out and i put it here here i do some kind of art journaling whatever theme i have i'll just put it out here so for the monthly page right i use this as a goal setting page i'm just hiding it guys because you know personal information over here and yeah here i do my monthly reflection and in this page also i do my monthly reflection so basically i use all the empty pages in my planner for monthly reflection goal reflection and all those things 
so i think uh, nothing has changed in the planner much to be honest everything is same whatever new spreads that are added it does bring so much value to one so yes i think i love the illustration for every month it is different this one so yes it is nice i'll quickly show you the monthly spread so this is jan February. I love how they have monthly tabs every year. So if you see, they have this door theme going on. So for every month, they have some kind of door and a cute girl standing next to it. It is so cute. May. And we have June. Okay. After June, you have to go to the top again. July, August, September. September, October, November. Where did December go? What? There's no monthly tab for December? No, they have. I think this folder is disturbing it. So, yeah, the Christmas thing for December. I think they have uh, reduced the notes pages over the year. I, I still remember in 2022 planner, there are too many notes pages. Now it's just three pages. In the last year planner, also, it was actually less. So yeah, here you are going to write highlights of your books I read and movies I watched. So basically, that's all about the planner. I really love this year's design. It is so bright, but I am a fan of pastel, pastel one. So I love this last year's planner. I mean, 2023's design more than 2024. But again, um, this is somewhat brighter. So no complaint. I like both. Next up, we have the 2024 wall calendar. So, um, their wall calendar design hasn't changed much this year. They have this beautiful perforated, not perforated, it's just, uh, I don't know. You use it for the stamping thing and all. I don't remember the name, but yeah, you know what it is, right? I'm going to use this for some greeting card or art journaling because it is so good. This is the design of the calendar cover so let's quickly flip through this i think the wall calendar size is lesser than the disc calendar this year nothing has changed it's just the same whatever design they had for 2023 right? it's just the same so here we go jan feb march april i love the april design may june july they have the note section here by the way and here previous month next month everything is here july has a coffee theme august september october november december and they have stickers because what alicia suga planners will always have a lot of her stickers yeah uh here you can write notes and stuff you can mention birthdays anniversaries here that's it they have the pocket holder here so i love this design it's pink uh, it's just so pretty so let's just quickly move on to the desk by the way this is how you should hang you have to use this and just hang it let's go to the desk calendar i love this year's desk calendar because i don't know every year alicia will add something new in for her desk calendar this is the cover i'm going to cut this and use it in my art channel it is so pretty so last year this calendar if you take it was like a notebook there will be calendars at the end right there are around 50 pages i guess you can use it as a notebook as well and i use it as my notebook so this year they have this reusable board you can write using this pen and just erase it like hello <laughs> oh my god it's not writing okay this i didn't expect this okay it needs some time let's give some time i think it's inside the box for a way i don't know this looks very dirty as well as if someone had used and kept it okay a bit disappointed with this and see your uh, focus 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 yes you can <laughs> i think the design of the pen it also has alicia souza uh, brand thing here wait i'll try to focus oh my god it's still not focusing yes yes you can <laughs> so yeah this is what we have so this time they have the perforated theme here at the end of each month or at the end of the year you can just cut this you can see the perforated thing right 
you can just cut this and use it as bookmark i'll quickly show whatever uh, images you saw on this cover right that is the mercy thing yeah i don't want to do the entire flip through because you can easily see this side and that side june july august yeah again i think these stickers are also new they haven't repeated much here like in calendar they have repeated around 30 percent i would say but yes yeah in calendar i can see a lot of repeated stickers but it's fine <laughs> because it's a test calendar they are allowed to repeat their designs but when it comes to a planner they should definitely add new exciting designs every year because alicia susa stickers are the best now let's quickly go to the freebies so these are all the freebies one tapestry a writing set mini clipboard and desktop weekly planner and a card holder so this is the card holder i think it's very pretty wait yeah they have given ample space here you can store your visiting card or bank or anything it's i mean the quality is also good this design i think i've seen somewhere i don't remember i mean in alicia who's only i think this came in her scarf or desk desk mat something so yes this is a weekly planner i love the weekly planner because i'm someone who love the weekly planning thing if i had known this is going to be a freebie right i wouldn't have even ordered a planner because this literally has everything i needed i think alicia souza should announce the freebies while she's launching so people will plan accordingly this is a total surprise see here they have the to do's and uh, notes as well you can literally use this as your planner and that the main thing as the journal so yes i don't know how i'm going to use this but yeah i should find something these are just same i think it would come for one whole month so this is a weekly planner this is how it looks and this is the design of last year's box i guess last year's trio box right this is that design and this mini clipboard is a cutest thing guys like so cute they also have the notepad here and <laughs> i don't know this design and everything about this is so cute here they have the writing set i remember alicia was launching letters in 2022 if i'm not wrong i still have some of those letter pads left because they're so pretty this is the envelope this is a postcard here is the cover you can just i'll show one okay yeah you can write your greeting card here close it and use this cover send it to your loved ones right that's very simple so yes these are all the freebies and we have the tapestry as well let me quickly open this this is the tapestry i already had one tapestry from uh, ruskin bond brand but it is so big this is so small so cute look at this take it easy i think you can just hang this on your desk space or your door or your wall in your garden space wherever you want this is such a cute freebie i think uh, just like every year alicia souza freebies are so functional this year as well i i love every year's freebies because you can always use it but i still haven't used some of her freebies because they're just too pretty to use so yes as always the products are good the quality is good everything but this time i think they have repeated lot of their old designs somewhere it's like okay i have seen this design somewhere i i have also heard a lot of people talking about it on their youtube and instagram videos and all like alicia souza has been repeating the same design nothing new so i'm going to pass but even though the design is repeated i think it is so worth it the quality uh, i don't know the feel and the joy that this planner or this trio trio brings right it is something else and it is so 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 worth it and i hope you enjoyed this video there will be a lot of uh, planner unboxing videos in the coming week so stay subscribe if you haven't already and i love this card so yes guys that's all for the day take care stay happy and stay great